I can either carry on and uh, or I can ask for help. And I didn't want to ask for help because that was a sign of weakness. But in the end, I had no alternative. And I did ask for help. And I got it. And I got sober and I got clean. It's so weird how it took me so long to ask for help because my pride was such that I didn't want to be seen as weak. But I tell you what, what a waste of time that was. And if anybody of you, any of you out there are struggling with something that's bothering you and you're too afraid to ask for help, stop it. Just go and ask for help. You'll get it in droves. People were so kind to me, people I never met before. And uh, it was a great lesson for me. I felt that I hadn't done enough as a gay man in the 1980s to uh, address the terrifying rise of the AIDS epidemic. So when I did get sober, from my kitchen table in Atlanta, I set up the Elton John AIDS Foundation. Now, never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined how far it would grow or how far we would come in the treatment of HIV and AIDS. In 1992, there was a pill called AZT and it was a death sentence. People just died. There was no hope. Now in 2020, there is no need for anyone in the world to die of this disease anymore. We don't have a cure, we do not have a vaccine, but we have the medicines to stop the spread of this disease. And once we stop the spread of this disease, then we won the war. But we have to get the prices of the drugs down. We have to get drugs to the impoverished people who need them and we need to stop the terrifying stigma that still surrounds this disease even today people are being thrown out of their homes because they're HIV positive and that's disgraceful we need to be kinder to each other we need to help each other and if there's one thing I've learned as I get older and yes I am getting older is the extraordinary healing power of love and compassion we live in a very funny world at the moment where people are shouting at each other and we live in a divided world. We need to uh, put down our social devices and talk to each other a little bit more and listen to each other and respect each other. And I truly believe that is a great empowerment in what can help cure this world of its uh, bad ways at the moment. This song is about love. Thank you. Didn't want to interrupt that. That's all right. That was too big. It was.